Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another edition of Fun Knife Friday. Uh, this time we're looking at this Marbles three-piece gift set, uh, which gives you a hunting knife, an all-weather compass, and a waterproof match case. I think this is like just the neatest little box set. I mean, I was just, you know, scrolling through stuff on the SMKW website and I came across this uh, little gift box. I was thinking, you know, if I would have been, you know, anywhere between the ages of, uh, you know, probably 12 and, and 18, I would just would have been just tickled to death to get something like this uh, set. I think this is perfect for that uh, youngster, maybe even younger than, than 12, uh, you know, but for Boy Scouting and for uh, camping and all this other stuff. And of course, it's... Uh, you know, getting to be springtime and summer, and that's when uh, everybody goes and does these things with fall coming up uh, later on in the year. You know, those uh, good uh, camping and hunting adventures and stuff. It's just like all kinds of good stuff can happen. But we'll take a look at what they what they give you here. But excellent presentation on the box. Love the, love the moose on there. And it's just fantastic. But this is what comes in the box. You get this really neat uh, brass compass. As you can see, lots of nice, uh, you know, easy to read numbers and, and well, not numbers, but letters and, and directions and stuff. Perfect for learning to work with a compass and uh, just, you know, kind of really neat, uh, this old school brass. It's knurled all the way around, etched with uh, marbles on the bottom. I mean, just a, uh, a fantastic uh, compass. It may not be as... Uh, accurate as a uh, lensatic compass if you're going to be working with a map and all this other stuff but just for working with a, a map and teaching somebody you know their basic uh, directions and uh, navigating by a compass uh, it's really kind of a, a neat thing another thing that's really cool is this match safe you know so these things are really neat uh, it also has got some engraving here on the uh, on the bottom and stuff that you can see there for uh, marbles. I don't know if it comes out on the video that well, but these match safes are really neat and, and they just unscrew down like so. And uh, sorry, I had it oriented the wrong way, but then you open it up and there is your match safe. It's got a nice uh, piece of rubber in there to keep it waterproof. And this is a great way to uh, keep your matches and some tinder and all that other stuff. And if you have the uh, strike anywhere matches, you can use them to uh, strike onto this uh, surface. And it's got this nice uh, bail on there so you can attach a lanyard to you so you won't uh, you won't lose your matches, you know. So this thing's definitely going into my, uh, you know, get home bag or whatever you want to call it, a little emergency bag. And I'm going to get some uh, waterproof and strike anywhere matches uh, to put in this thing and have a nice little uh, way to make fire if I should ever need to to do so. And that brings us to the knife. Uh, it's a really cool uh, bird and trout type uh, knife. has marbles on the sheath. You see there it's got some uh, ducks. It's got the moose head and a little bit of uh, work on here. This uh, leather feels pretty dry. I'm going to have to definitely uh, get this oiled up because it is uh, super, super dry. But the handle is fantastic. The uh, stacked leather is just awesome. We've got the little red uh, spacer in there. I love these uh, round pommels on the uh, Marbles knives, and that's something that they've always had. Uh, of course, here is the tank stamp, and it's got a little etch on there uh, for your marbles. Uh, don't know if you can really see it too much, but it says marbles uh, quality knives. There you go. Quality knives. It just had to get it at the right angle. But really nice uh, belly on this. It's got some nice uh, jimping on top. Uh, you're looking from the uh, tip to the tang is about three and a half inches, and then you have about a four inch handle, so it's giving you seven and a half overall length. Uh, and it's comfortable if you spread out your fingers, you can hold it three fingers, and with that round uh, pommel, your pinky can fold underneath there, and it's comfortable, or you can have your pinky inside on the uh, pommel. Depending on how you wanna carry it, how you wanna use it, 
but I love these bird and trout knives. I think they're just fantastic. These are just, I, I think for fixed blades, these little small guys, uh, they just get the job done. That's, that's it. You know, you don't need a, a gigantic, uh, fixed blade to, uh, get most, most work done. It has a nice little, uh, brass, uh, tang there, uh, or hilt guard, however you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, just what a fantastic little knife. High polished stainless steel, uh, 440A, I believe. Uh, let's see if it has it on the back. I don't know. Can't quite read it. Let me see if I can get a better angle on it. No, it just has the uh, model number MR303 and it says China where it's uh, manufactured. But like I said, just for a quick beginner's uh, type thing. I mean, these are a couple of uh, outdoors items that I think would just be awesome for, you know, a beginning camper or even for a more experienced one just to uh, have and uh, and just have some fun with that. So if you guys like to uh, check that out, like I said, I found it on SMKW. I'm sure it's probably in some other places too, but uh, what a really neat little set of uh, outdoor equipment. All right, guys. Well, that's it for Fun Knife Friday, and I will see you all on the uh, Sunday show. Hope to see you there. Uh, if you do show up on that, uh, you know, please uh, participate in the uh, chat. It's always nice to uh, talk to you guys, and you guys can talk to each other, ask questions of the panel, and all that kind of stuff. So we'll be having a uh, we'll be having a fun time. I think uh, Tom might like this episode. Hint, hint. Uh, if you know Tom at all. So, <laughs> and who doesn't by this point, right? All right, guys, that's it for this one. I'll see you on Sunday. Take it easy.